We got a 1995 Freightliner Classic in the shop. His fuel tanks are all oxidized from the straps. I'm sure if you get an old truck, you get the same problem. I'm gonna show you how we fix it. I don't know if that's how they do it in the shop, but this is how we do it around here, boy! Woo! <laughs> As you can see, it's pretty common with these trucks. Uh, under the straps, it starts oxidizing and starts eating away at the uh, aluminum. So you can see somebody's put a little self-tapper and RTV through there. Um, it's starting to go on the side a little bit. It's gotta be fixed. We're gonna fix it. So we're gonna drop it. Basically drop the two straps, undo the lines on the back side, pull that baby out and weld her up, get her up on the table and roll some aluminum over top of it and call it done. That's the plan. You can see it's super yummy looking under here. So I'm gonna have to clean that all off because that's disgusting. But you can see all the oxidization that's there and how deep it's kind of getting into the tank. So once you fill the tank up so much, it starts leaking like a sieve. So. It's all gross and cruddy looking, but hey, it is what it is. So now there's lots of room for activities under there though. Johnny struggled trying to get the uh, this bolt out heat up the post a little bit and then it uh, then it worked fine. But it's a pain in the ice hole, but somebody's got to do it. So satisfying. Looks like somebody bondoed this. As Johnny was cleaning on this side, he noticed a weird looking apparatus. And yeah, tastes like bondo. Must be bondo. Get that thing to fucking dry off. And I'll dump all the rest of the diesel. Oil. Okay, welcome to welcome to Strapping Fuel Tanks 101. Now, we've got the tank clean, we've got it brown, we're ready for some strapping action. So, what we're going to do, we take our we take our 8 inch aluminium drill a hole about 3 quarters, enough for, enough for a, ratchet, a ratchet strap a ratchet strap to go into there. Then what you do you find your weld on your tank, you find your weld on your tank, 
and then what you do is you take... I fucked up. <laughs> I have fucked up, I forgot the step. So before you find your weld, you drill your hole. Your hole is drilled, now you take your old knee former and you take your aluminum and you roll it over your knee. Not so much like that, that's bad, that's not bad. But you roll it around so it's got a nice, a nice arc to it. So what you do is you take your weld, you take the end of your plate, not with the hole, the hole goes on the opposite side. Pay attention. You weld it onto the belt. That way it's nice and straight right here and with a nice curve. Then you take your ratchet slap and you ratchet it all the way around everything and you pull it super tight. It's best with two people. One person, it doesn't work too good. You take two people, you ratchet it around, you keep it nice and straight on the tank. You don't want a crooked strap. That's no good. Nobody likes crooked straps. So you take your, you wrap it around, you make it nice and nice and tight till it's still right on top of the, right on top of the tank. You'll have some excess, which is good. Don't worry, extra is good. Ask my ex-wife. You ratchet it all the way tight. You weld it up nice and tight to here. Before you weld, you figure out your distance, you cut it, and then you strap it again with no, you, you cut your hole, you cut your hole off. But that's okay, it's okay to cut your hole off. After it's tight, make sure it's tight. If it's not tight, don't cut it. It's not the right thing. Make it nice and tight, weld it up, it'll be perfect. Just ask Professor Rick. X brain team. Strapping tank fuel 101. This is 101, 102, this is 105. It's all of them. Okay, leave me alone now. Okay, now we're going to weld. I forgot to say that. I get in trouble. The director, he's, he's one of those kind of guys. He gives me a hard time. But now, now we're going to weld. So we'll weld it up. You guys figure it out. <laughs> Tank's all welded. I'm gonna pull these. Uh, I'm gonna pull these uh, two fittings out. That way we can get uh, two of them the exact same for the other tank. That way we can get some uh, lines made up. Drop this thing down and put it in the uh, truck. Get it lined back up. I'll just drive the forklift around the corner here and get it in the spot. Put the training jack back onto there. Lift it into the spot and let her let her eat. We got this truck back together. We got the tank back on. We got the lines hooked up. 
nothing really exciting to see. Uh, as you can see, the way I do these straps, I do them super wide. That way there's a little bit extra room so you can move the tank back. There was an issue with the tank hitting the uh, pipes and uh, we moved it back way far enough to avoid that. So the good thing about doing really wide straps is you have that adjustability. Uh, you don't have to deal with the shit of, I have to put it exactly where it was. It'll keep rubbing on that fucking exhaust. We got it back together, filled it up with diesel, a couple, you know, thousand dollars later. And uh, <laughs> if you want to keep up with what's going on, Chrome Danby, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, let us know what you think. Hit the like button to let us know that we're doing a good job. And hey, if you don't like it, fucking let me know in the comment section down below. Until then, Check us out on Instagram to see what's going on daily, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Not that gas. Fuck, I'm out of shape. <laughs> That's not street gas neither. These fucking guys are killing me. Third time a charm? Mm, no. <laughs>